Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yorkie Van here, and welcome back to another video on the channel, where today I am going to give you four teams to manage on PES 2021 Master League. Now, I'm going with the assumption that this is probably going to be your last Master League save now before the new game. Hopefully, we'll have an official release date for PES 2022 sometime soon. So I'm going to work on that this is probably going to be your last Master League because mine after the Leeds one will be my last Master League. So that's what we're working on today. And we're going to kick this one off by talking about Juve as the first team to manage. But first of all, before we get into talking about Juve, the squad, the money you're going to have, smash that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it, boys. We're on the road to 1K. So close, man. We're so close. I can feel it. We're on the road. But the first team to manage today we're going to talk about is Juve. Now, I think that this is a team that I actually wanted to do. I've wanted to do Juve a couple of times. It does help that they had such a poor year. Juve had such a terrible season. Perlo has gone. Allegri is back. But instead of Allegri, you have taken over. And can you help resurrect Juve? I know it's only one season out of the mainstream main light there in Italy. But what you've got to remember is the squad that they've assembled was put together to win the Champions League. Ronaldo came to Juve to win the Champions League. They haven't even been close. Can you be the man to get that Champions League title? And do you do it with Ronaldo or do you move him on and bring in some new blood? It got as bad as Juve only just finishing fourth this season and nearly ending up in the Europa League. That would have been major egg on their face. So, they do need a lot of work. They need a little bit of help. They don't have the youngest of squads, as we will go through the team now. We're going to do it actually through the squad list instead of the game plan. I was going to do the game plan. It me it makes more sense to do the squad list. We'll sort it by overall rating, but you've got to bear in mind your best player, your star player. He's 35. Do you do, now, personally, you're going to use him first season. In my mind, you use Ronaldo first season. But do you use him moving forward? You've got Dybala, Chesney, the Lit. There's some great young talent in there as well. Well, but I would say that your centre-back partnerships, and I, I would potentially have played three at the back here. The lit, great, but then you've got Chiellini, 36. He's an old man. Perucci, 33. He's an old man. You know, you're ageing in several areas of this team. It does need a lot of work. Morata is on loan. Let's bear that in mind. Morata is on loan from Atletico Madrid. So you'll have him first season, and then he might go back, if that's how that works on Pez. There's some great young players here. Benton Core. Quadrado's getting on a little bit. Chiesa. So they're bringing in some youth, but as well as still having a lot of older players. So you've got to make some decisions initially on what to do. Who's going to be the next buff on in this team as well is an interesting one. I, I like that because replacing some of this big talent. Is it Donnarumma? Do you go and pick up Donnarumma? Potentially. Demerel as well. Great centre-back for the future. McKenny. I think McKenny was on loan. I can't remember. But there are some great young players here. Kulu's definitely going to grow a lot quicker. But you're not blessed. You are not completely blessed. When I go through this squad, and I've looked through it now, there's a lot of young players here, but we know how Pez works. These guys probably aren't going to grow very well. These guys just probably are not going to grow very well. So the problem is, is once you've gone past maybe Kulu, then this is your squad. This is your squad. And it's old. It is old. You have some really old players in this team. So Juve on the surface is like, yeah, that's pretty easy for a Master League, isn't it? Beyond the first season, you've got some real big questions you've got to ask yourself when it comes to building this team because it is old. And this is what I like about the rebuild. I think you'll be given a lot of money. We did normal budgets. I haven't looked at the negotiations yet, but we did normal budgets. So there you go. You've got a really healthy budget there of 177 million. So you can really start to implement changes, but you need to bring in some new life. And who are going to be the stars? Because the main aim for this one, really, in my mind, wouldn't be win the league. It's win the Champions League. And to test yourself, you're going to have to change this squad a little bit. You need fresh centre-backs coming in. You're going to need a fresh striker, to be honest with you, because beyond Cristiano Ronaldo, you've got Morata, who is on loan, and Dybala, who is a shadow striker, Cam, centre-forward. He's not your out-and-out -out number one striker. He's more of a number 10. So you've got a lot of questions and not many answers at this stage. So if you do choose to do Juve, let me know down below in the comments. It's a save I really wanted to do this year. I wanted to do a mini-series and uh, just try and win the Champions League with Juve. But I think time has kind of got away from us and we're not going to get given the time to, to really do that. Maybe Juve is a team that we look at doing a mini-series with at the start of the next game. I, I don't know yet, but Juve is the first team on this list and looks like it could be a really fun little mini-rebuild. Team 
number two. Now, I did use Guardiola every time. I used, why not? It's Pep Guardiola, mate. Pep Guardiola. Now, I had to redo the teams because I updated the squads. And for some strange reason, it uh, reset the Bundesliga to 20 teams. And, you know, it adds in a load of teams. It, it's a nice. But anyway, the Bundesliga is where we are at next. Now, for some strange reason, there is no preseason games in the Bundesliga. But it's Dortmund. We're going to be doing Dortmund. Dortmund makes sense to me because they didn't have a great season. Even sat their manager halfway through the season. And Dortmund is a team with some wonderful young talent. But here is the stipulation. If you are going to do Dortmund, there is one rule I want you to follow. Jadon Sancho must go. He's got to go and so does Haaland. Now here's the rules in my head. Season one, you sell Sancho. Right, we're going to role play this as if you're going and doing this season. So you sell Sancho season one. You don't get to use him. I'm sorry. He's a beast. I know, but you don't get to use Sancho. He's gone. You sell him. You've got to rebuild without him. But build with the ethos that Dortmund do. Find this young talent. They're a selling club. Find this great young talent that comes in and then move it on for big money. That's how you want to build this team. Then season number two, you have to sell Erling Haaland. His release clause in real life is, I think, around 69 million. Can't remember officially, and I'm not going to Google right now. It's like five in the morning. I go away today, boys. I go away today, but I was really itching to record this video. But anyway, Haaland has to go. If his release clause is next year, 69 million, there's no way he stays at Dortmund. So you use him this year, then you sell him next year. I think that's the best stipulation to put in because they're players that are going to leave anyway. It's going to force your hand a little bit, which does make this save a little bit more fun. Finance-wise, they're not actually that well off. They're not as rich. I was genuinely, I was expecting much more money there. But I like this because, again, sign young players, improve them, move them on. That is Dortmund's model. But while you're signing these young players, you need to get a good enough crop to win the Bundesliga. It's been a while for Dortmund since they managed to. They didn't really challenge for it this year. I think Leipzig challenged a little bit better than anyone. But, again... You've got to stop this monopoly of Bayer Munich. That's what you've got to do. You've got to try and defeat them and maybe even make it back to a Champions League final here with Borussia Dortmund. They've got a fun squad, though. I'm not going to lie. They do have a really fun squad. There he is, the main man, Jadon Sancho. You've got to sell him. You've got to sell him and then reinvest the money you get for him for more fresh young talent. Maybe look in England. Dortmund seem to have good ties in England to pick up good young players. Bellingham being one of them. You need to help Bellingham's progression as well, of course, in this save. So maybe you sell Sancho and you look there in England for a couple of young players that you can bring in to help bolster the squad. Also, look at America. They sign Reina. Maybe some good young American talent as well. Jesus Ferreira. Don't know how well rated he is on this game. Take a look at him. Again, though, where this squad is young, there are patches of it that are old. Max Hummels is not young. Witzel as well, 31. I really like Witzel. I hope that we find another player very similar to him in the future. He's a fantastic fantastic player but you're gonna have to replace him i'm afraid in the future brant is a player i really like so maybe sancho comes out and let's not look at brant as a center mid because for me although he's played there for dortmund i remember when he used to play out on the wing i think it was by uh by leverkusen and he used to play out on the wing so do not hesitate to play this man on the right hand side of the wing but it's a decent squad it's a good team there he is the main man erling Haaland. remember you sell him but it's a good team you've got some really good players from the get-go you do have some experienced players as well in the squad, so you shouldn't have too many issues in this first season in the Bundesliga having some success. But there is some good young players here as well that you're going to have to help progress and move forward, like Reina, like Renier, the young Brazilian. There are some great young players here. Jude Bellingham, only 70 rated, but he's 17. I'm hoping that he grows massively. So there are some good players. Makoko as well, man, the young starlet. People are expecting this kid to be a superstar in the future. Fingers crossed he is. Get him game time from the get-go. See how he progresses. It's not the world's biggest squad either. After having a quick look at it, you've got a 27-man squad. So I would recommend reinforcements. But again, you've got 65 million on the transfer budget. Jaden Sancho money coming in. I don't know how much you'll get for him. But imagine 86 rated. You're going to get a big... You're going to get a big bag, aren't you, boys? You're going to get a big bag. But anyway, boys, that is Dortmund. And Dortmund could be a really fun save. I think within three or four seasons, you can have them as a real big contender here in the Bundesliga and potentially pick up a Champions League title. So the next two teams are going to be teams that need a little bit more work than the first two teams. But team number three is Leon. 
They didn't have a great season this year. It wasn't the worst. They finished fourth. But I think fourth in France is Europa League. That's not a great year for Lyon. They could do with a bit of resurgence. They could really do with a bit of a resurgence, considering the way things are going. Now, I am led to believe as well that Lyon have some financial struggles. And there is, again, a key to this one. I do apologise because this man is a beast. And I would want to use him. If we do a Leon save, I think we're doing French League next for the Master League. Leon is one of the teams that we might vote on. If we did a Leon save, I would really begrudge having to do this. But I would do it. And that is sell Memphis Depay. You can choose to sell him or just move him to Barcelona. It's up to you. It's more of a challenge if you just move him to Barcelona because you're not going to get any money for him. But his contract ran out. He's gone. He's done. He's dusted. You need to make that decision. Whether you sell him or just move him out of the club, that's your decision. Now, the budget you're going to have is very similar to Dortmund's. So, there's a good chunk of money there to help rebuild the team. Again, now with this Leon side, maybe chunks of experience sprinkled in there, but you're going to have to sign some great young players. And maybe look to good young French players. Try and find the next Benzema, potentially, if he's out there somewhere. But good young French players is certainly where I'd be looking. Now, Leon actually have a pretty decent team. But when you take out Memphis Depay, it's, it's not as good. Because Memphis Depay is a beast. But again, he's got to go. It makes this save more interesting. What I, what I try to do here when we do Master Leagues, I try and keep some realism. It's Pez, so it's quite difficult in the transfer market to keep full realism. But I like to push myself so that it's not easy. Keeping the pie would certainly make this save a little bit easier. You've got to let him go, boys. You do still have the world-class, in my opinion, in the future, world-class talent as Husamon Ayor. He looks absolutely brilliant and he is someone I would be extremely excited to use. I've not used him on Pez before. I think he's a beast. You've got some decent players. Denaya, good player. Uh, Gubadesh, good player. De Black, good player. Toko Akambe is a decent player. He's a power Powerful forward, Lucas Paqueta, who they got from AC Milan. Again, very talented player, good on the ball. Thiago Mendes. You'll notice in a theme, this team is pretty young. This team is pretty young. Anthony Lopez is 30, but he's the goalkeeper. This team is pretty young. Slomani from... Just, never mind Slomani. Maxwell Cornet, I'm a fan of him. I'm a fan of Maxwell Cornet. I signed him on the Twitch save. If you aren't following me on Twitch, link down below, as well as the Twitter. The Twitter, you can stay up to date. I don't plug Twitter enough because... I, I'm not the biggest fan of football Twitter because it's a little bit of a cesspit. But if you guys want to get more from me or more interaction, Twitter's a good place to go. The Shiglio. I, I used to sign him all the time on Football Manager. Marcelo, obviously, a little bit older. So there's certainly areas, Kakare, young player. There's certainly areas where you're going to have to improve this team. Cherky. This boy grows really well. If you've watched the Leeds Master League save that we've got on the channel, if you haven't, go and watch it. Come on, guys, go and watch it. But anyway, if you haven't watched it, he's 72 rated here. I mean, he's 81 or 82 now in that Leeds save already. We're on season five at this, or are we on four? It doesn't matter, but he grows well. Just know that. Cherky grows really well on this year's game. So you've got some good young players. There might be some more diamonds in the rough here that might grow a little bit quicker. I would say if they're 17 and 18, they can still grow a lot if you give them game time. De Silva is someone who I'm a fan of in real life. He looks like he's going to be a good young prospect. I don't know how well he'll grow in Pez, but maybe give him some game time and see how he go. So again, there's a lot of young players. Uh, definitely not. There's a lot of young players here that could be good in the future. And you've got a decent core of young players already in the first team. I think you just need to build around it. You've got Toko Akambe up top and Slamani, I believe, is on loan from Leicester. This is he's, he's awful, man. He's doggers. You don't want really to use Slamani. But anyway, you're getting rid of the pie, so you're going to need a new striker. There's certainly places in this team where you need to strengthen. I would say it's centre back as well because Marcelo's getting on a bit and you only really have the Nea. but there's so many options out there maybe think about what Leon like to do and again they remind me a lot of Dortmund but probably on a smaller budget and that's go out and find young talent progress it for the future you know what I mean? Find a little bit of a rough diamond, polish it up, and then you end up with players like Memphis Depay. I mean, resurrected his career after that dreadful time that he had at Manchester United, coming back and playing the way he did. And they didn't play him out wide as well. They played him like up, they played him up top. Same for the Netherlands, and now I'd say Memphis Depay's got a real bright future ahead of him. I hope he does really well there at Barca. But anyway, boys, that's it for Leon. Leon's one that really interests me. All these teams I would happily do. Leon is one that interests, uh, interests me, though, because we are going to be doing a French Master League next. 
And uh, although Marseille are another team that I'd be interested in, we might do a spotlight video on them. Leon's a good team to take over and challenge yourself with. For the fourth and final team, we got Valencia. Now the wheels kind of fell off at Valencia this year. Not gonna lie, and in the in the recent years, nearly as bad as when Neville was there this year. Not as bad, 13th place in the league, but not what you're used to thinking of Valencia. When you're thinking of players, they had their David Silva, Villa, and then when you're also thinking of the times when Rafa was there, they won the league and stuff. You know, it's not what I expect when I think about Valencia is them finishing in 13th and having a pretty torrid time there in La Liga. No English teams in this list. I think people don't push themselves out of the box enough. We always do English teams, boys. If you're from England, we always do English teams. So let's not have an English side in this one. Let's look at teams in foreign leagues that could be really fun and interesting to do and open our world to these new leagues. I don't know where I'm going with this, but let's look at a budget for Valencia. As I say, they've fallen apart a little bit. It's not going well, but they got the money. They got the money for you to spend in this save. This should be a nice little rebuild because of the cash you've got, but this is probably the worst squad that you're going to have in a very, very difficult league. You know, the Leon one, I would say, is a bad squad as well, especially when you get rid of Depay in terms of strength and depth, but... The French League is a little bit easier than La Liga. This is certainly going to be a bigger challenge because of where Valencia are. Now, I did do this save on stream briefly. I got sacked. We, we finished in Europe, boys, We finished, but we didn't get Champions League, and they wanted Champions League. So whatever you do at the start of this save, don't tell them you're going to get Champions League. Don't, don't tell them that because you will get sacked. And I did, I did get sacked live on stream. It was dreadful. I did go to Sociedad, though, and we did that for a little bit. Anyway, it was good. But there we go. Valencia, the final team. Let's take a look at the squad. Now, from memory, they've got a few decent players. But they're also lacking in certain areas of the pitch. They really are. Gabriel Palisa. They've got some age, though, in here as well. Carlos Soler, great player. Again, though, I, I imagine if you get big bids for these players, you should probably sell them. Think in your head, Valencia finished 13th. Some of these players are touted to be stars. You've got to move them on. Guedes would probably be one of them as well. 24 years of age. He's a brilliant player. But again, if you get big bids in this first season for these guys, I'm not saying list them, but if you get a big bids in, you should probably let them go. Because in reality, you finished first eight, 13th last year. Wasn't a good year. You should probably move these on. Carlos Soler, though, great player. Uh, Guedes is a good player. Carlos Soler, as well, is really versatile. Could play all across midfield. Uh, Maxi Gomez, decent player up top. Really decent player up top. He could be really someone who you pin your hopes to when it goes to uh, to going forward. Fantastic player. Jose Gaia as well. Really good left back. Feels like he's not 25 to me. Feels like he's been around for ages. I've signed him so many times. Uh, Daniel Vass, he, he's all right. His problem is, is he likes to... He likes to drift centrally. So if you play him at right back, this is what I learned. If you play him at right back, he's going to drift in the middle all the time. So I would recommend if you are playing him, play him in the center of the park. Sign a new right back or play Pacini at right back. Gamero as well. I mean, he's getting on. You probably, I didn't use him. You're probably not going to use him that much. Ferro, the young Portuguese center back, used to be a, a superstar. A bit of a wonder kid from Benfica. Sheryshev, cross specialist. Can't go wrong there. Diakabe, you've got some good centre-backs, to be fair. You've got some decent players at the back. Patrick Catrone, he's had an awful time at Wolves, but at one stage, this was going to be the new Don for Italy. He was going to be the next big thing, and it, it fell off. The wheels fell off, but he's only 22, so there's plenty of time left. Lee Kangen, probably your young superstar, your one for the future. A lot of expectation around this young Korean, and hopefully you can get the best out of him. Jason, good lad. See him down the pub week in, week out. Rakic, Vallejo. There's some good young players actually in this team. Thierry Correa, I actually really like. Tony Lato as well, I'm a fan of. You've got more strength in depth. Musa, he is supposed to be a beast as well. You know when I was saying you should sign young Americans at Dortmund? Go and pick this kid up. But if you're doing the Valencia save, enjoy using him. He's really good. He's bright and he grows very quickly. Make sure to get him game time though. Especially when he's got that blue flashing arrow up. Always play a young player if that blue flashing arrow is up. Unless you're taking on Barcelona or something. But always use the young players. That's when you're going to get the most growth out of a player. I learned that. I learned that because I'm becoming a Pez Pro this year. But yeah, you've got a decent squad. There's some good young players here as well. It's a big team. It's a very big team. 32 players. One of the biggest sides we've looked at. But it's probably got the strongest strength in depth. 
but the weakest superstar quality to start with because Soler is brilliant, but I wouldn't say you've got anyone here who is just an outright superstar. Guedes will grow. He will become that. So will Soler. But do you keep hold of them? Always think when you're doing this save that you finish 13th. You can't just be dissing bids from all these big teams. You can't just be going, ah, no, I'm keeping him, I'm keeping him, I'm keeping him. I know we do that a lot when we play Master Leagues and career modes. We hold on to the players that we love the most. But if you're trying to play it as if it was real life, these guys won't hang around. So try and use that mentality when you're doing these. You'll have more fun, trust me. You'll have more fun when you're being pushed and forced to rebuild the team a little bit more than would have been expected. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, hit subscribe. We do loads of content on the channel around Pez and FIFA, mainly a bit of Football Manager sprinkled in there. I do mainly Football Manager on stream. I might do a Pez 2022 version of this because I'm already thinking about teams that I'm going to do on Pez 2022 too but i'm also thinking about the teams that i should do for the end of this master league cycle that we've got going here on the moment at pez 2021 so let me know if you decide to do any of these teams let me know if you think of teams that you think would be very good in this same mold to do for your last master league as well i appreciate the support as per usual boys if you're new around here smash the subscribe button thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one